I got involved with rebuilding together Houston uh, by watching our company intranet. There was, uh, they post volunteer opportunities and there was one for rebuilding together Houston and when I read up on the organization, it, it was something I knew I liked to do, so I signed up. We visit the site uh, two weeks in advance to meet the homeowner as much as anything and find out what their thoughts are, how they're feeling, what they think needs to be done. Uh, Rebuilding Together Houston gives us a list of repairs they recommend being done. Uh, and we take that list and go out and do the inspection to see how it fits with the current state of the home. And uh, from there we put together a plan. It's, um, I'd say about 50% in my head, but I do have a list of volunteers so I know who's coming. I know what skills I have and I've segmented the different jobs. And I spend some time planning what do we have to do first in order to get things accomplished in a day. When everybody arrives, first you gather everybody up and remind them we don't do anything we can't do safely. Right? The, the last thing I want is somebody going home not in the same condition they came. Because they won't be happy, their family won't be happy, and I'll lose a volunteer. So we talk about safety, we talk about the equipment we're going to use, we remind people that if you've got one of these sub-projects, stop before you get started on it, look around the area, get your tools, in, in place, get your work area set up so that you don't have to, anything to get in the way of doing the job safely. And if you don't have the right tools, don't go ahead with, that, with the wrong tools, come find them, because we probably have them on the team. If there's a young professional out there who needs to improve their project management skills and wants to do it in a non-threatening area, this is a place where there's no money on the line, there are no lives on the line like you might get in a job, and it's a very good way to practice your project management skills and to learn them or, or refine them. Preparing is, is uh, planning, uh, cutting the job up into bite-sized pieces so that you can get a, a chunk of work done in a day, and then looking at the team that you know is coming and starting to divide them up onto these smaller projects based on skills or enthusiasm or whatever you know your team is bringing and getting that plan down so at the end of the day everybody can walk away from their little project and, and have accomplished something, have a feeling of accomplishment. What keeps me motivated is the smile on the homeowner's face. The other things, yeah, I enjoy leading the team, I enjoy creating things, uh, but what keeps me coming back is uh, smile on the homeowner's face. I get excited every time. I get nervous. I lose a little sleep the nights before builds because I want things to go well.